What's up, Curious Toddlers? Welcome back to Storytelling with CJ, episode two. Today's story is about Bill Wise and his 23 minutes in hell. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We got a DJ in the background. You guys see the lights? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, nah, but uh, we're back, guys, and uh, we're gonna get right into it. So today we're gonna be talking about some guy, quote unquote, <laughs> went a testimony to say he went to hell for 23 minutes. That's crazy. Man. Which I call. BS because <laughs> I mean while we were doing our research and videos and like I was like mm, I don't know dude the way the way he would explain things is like the way I would tell stories on the podcast you know what I mean about like aliens and stuff so um almost as if it was like conspiracy yes that's uh I don't believe it but we'll get more into what we believe towards uh towards the end and then we're gonna leave it up to you guys too to decide but uh his name was Bill Weiss. Bill Weiss, he had like a regular lifestyle, nothing nothing yeah, crazy, man. nothing, you know, with the wife, just normal life. Christian, of course. Nothing against Christians, but <laughs> about to he, say, bro, <laughs> Oh yeah, shit, he's a Christian, my bad. <laughs> but he was just a an average person, you know, like he'd never experienced stuff in the in the in the past, so for him to experience something like that was something very new to him and I feel like to everybody experiencing something like that would be something out of this world to be honest with you and hopefully God doesn't hear us and he's like alright motherfucker you don't believe him here you go he lived with his wife while it was happening and okay so on the night of November 23rd 1998 this man Bill Wise has a life altering experience now his wife says she kind of gives her account and she just wakes up she remembers waking up to screams at 3 a.m. Sure. and it was just to him screaming now she says it was 3 a.m. but when she so she says she first looked at the clock it was 3 a.m. and then when she got into the living room it was 3.23 a.m. like time had passed or time something passed. so that's where they get the 23 minutes in hell um, she finds Bill in the living room in a state where she said she's never seen him before in like fetal position like curled up crying Damn. and he, she said he's always been like a calm and collective kind of guy so for to find him in like a state like this where he was like screaming out and i guess he was screaming out like pray for me pray for me like god's taking me to hell he's taking me to hell you see when i when when i heard that part i was like maybe it is true you know because who wakes up like that you know screaming for help or whatever the case may be you know like me when the first time i experienced uh what's that called Par paralysis sleep paralysis i couldn't scream at all dude like i tried to call for help and everything but like i had to pray within myself to get rid of it you know so like that part of where he explains that that kind of made me think like maybe it is real you know yeah but then again me and cj like what if it was just a really really bad dream mm -hmm. check this out guys he actually felt pain when he felt these creatures quote unquote creatures that look like 13 or 15 feet reptiles so imagine you could say like almost like an alligator on his tail you could say right so they were scratching him beating him he would feel pain but he said that when he talked to God that he let him feel so much of it. It wasn't fully pain. And when you're there, he says, they're there to torture you and hurt you, not to kill you. So imagine that you're just being tortured all damn day or whatever. I don't know what the hell they have in hell, day, night, whatever. But just imagine that, bro. Like that's some crazy stuff. Like for, for to feel pain like that. And again, that's why I say like, it's hard to believe some stuff he's like damn bro like you know like in your dream to feel that type of to stuff that kind of yeah yeah when he got there he was in a jail cell right yeah he said it was like a jail cell fire that's where it all like started he just felt like he fell he ended up in a in a cage in a cell 
and that's where all the torturing and stuff happened. I don't know, dude. That's fucking crazy, dude. That's fucking- <laughs> so he said he just felt this like tremendous heat. Almost, I mean, you can say like uh, it's fire. Yeah. Fire. So he said while he's in this in this jail cell, this prison cell, while he's in there, and these reptile demons. I guess I guess they're. I mean, there are creatures, but they're ultimately like. They're demons, right? Because it's hell. I'm assuming they're demons. Yeah. That they were beating him up, pounding him. And they said, like, even one time, like, they threw him up against the wall and he broke his bones. <laughs> Damn, dude. So but, imagine feeling like your bones are broken but not really broken, right? Yeah. Because that's what he said. Because I'm assuming, like, they broke and then, like, he, I, because like you said, like, he felt the pain but not, like, God didn't allow him to feel, like, wounds. Yeah, like, the full extent of the pain and then he said it was weird because then like even though like he was getting like scratched and and, you know beat up like and he had wounds there was no blood coming out but he said there was no blood because like he's not he's not alive i would be more freaked about that bro like getting (laughs) getting scratched getting thrown against the wall but you're not bleeding like that would out of well out of that's like one of my top three things that are trip about like imagine guys you get cut or whatever being at home and you don't bleed wouldn't you trip out like what the heck i just like cut myself you feel me like and there's no blood so like i'm stuck in between the reptile looking things 13 15 feet uh and not bleeding from fucking wounds bro so imagine again right you said the whole wounds and everything now imagine getting your damn head smashed Flat, bro. Like, that just sounds like something out of a cartoon. That's, that's like a video game. Yeah, man. so when he said that, in, like, the video and, like, his interviews and stuff, I was like, bro, really? Like, that just sounds dumb. Some Looney Tunes. The, some Looney Tunes. Have you guys watched Space Jam? You remember they're playing in the game? And then he, yeah, he steps on him and he's just flat, right? And then they, like, blow him up to, you know? So when he, when he said that, that's the first thing that came to mind, like, fucking Space Jam. What if he was in the Space Jam and the demons were, oh, bro. No, he's stupid, bro. Because you know, <laughs> no Space Jam. <laughs> no, remember the Space Jam? They're reptiles. Anyways. This guy's, that's who it was? Yeah. The aliens from Space Jam? Yeah. <laughs> no, but imagine getting getting your head uh, smashed flat, like completely flat, no brains out, no blood coming or anything. But then God brought it back, right? So he God let him go through all this pain and then he brought him back like, oh, here's your head, motherfucker. <laughs> then out of nowhere, he gets pitch black, like pitch, pitch black. I don't know if you guys ever been into like, have you ever been stuck in Indiana Jones? <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Why are you stuck in the right Indiana Jones or Space Mountain? I've been stuck in Space Okay, Mountain. you know yeah. how pitch, it's pitch black in there. And out of nowhere, he feels someone drag him. Of course, he's going to think it's the reptiles that are going to keep torturing him and, you know, smashing dude's dome. That's when he realizes that it's God pulling him out of the cell. So, him being dragged out. So, there's stages to this, right? He said there's stages. So, that was the first stage. First stage is him falling down. He said he felt like he was falling down and ended up in the jail cell. God tortured or whatever. So, him feeling getting pulled out, God was pulling him into the next room, the next level whatever you guys want to call it the next level to jumanji the boss <laughs> jumanji or whatever but him he said that the next room from a distance he could see a fire pit right so just imagine he's already like feeling hot and then besides the whole hell being fired now there's a fire pit <laughs> makes no sense it's like spongebob underwater and they're drinking water right but that's what he sees in the distance and what he sees he sees People like, you know, reaching out, like screaming, like in pain, like, you know, even us that we get burned by a stove. We're like, what the? So he sees like, you know, people grabbing like for help or whatever. Like Power Rangers Turbo, remember? (laughs) I'm comparing this to other (laughs) shit, but you know, he he sees that. Then he he understands that God is putting him through these levels and that it's, it's different types of torturing and pain. Maybe maybe that's you know whatever you did in life and if there is a hell and a heaven then you know like oh well you did this bro you finna go burn the thing or you're gonna go get fucked up by these fucking crocodiles by these crocs (laughs) so that's when he starts understanding you know like shit god is putting me through this which to me is like scary but dope at the same time like seeing it like what if he just what if 
What if like he was a bad person in real life and God is like, bro, you're a Christian. You're doing dumb shit. I'm this is where you're going to end up? Yeah. <laughs> he felt like he was like in the core of the earth. Everybody knows the core of the earth is really, really hot. But he like throughout the whole thing, he didn't know what level neither of them was. Who knows what if the reptile was level 10, the fire pit was level one. Yeah, you know what I mean? So he said while he was in there, now obviously, it's hell, so it's hot. And so he said he was like extremely thirsty in there, man. But like, there was obviously no water to be found, nothing. And like, not even a drop. <laughs> well, he said in one of his interviews, right? He said that there's a saying that, oh, why is, I forgot what the saying was, but he said, like, you know, there's a, I forgot how the saying goes, but pretty much saying like that man couldn't find. That drop of water. That drop of water. Yeah. And so that was him. Like, he could never... There's no water in sight, but he was extreme. I just think of, like, man, like, on, like, extreme hot days, especially here in California, we've been having, like, these heat waves. Like, I'm, I'm like, thirsty right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got these heat waves, and it's like, dude, I'm thirsty, Even man. if you freaking chug a whole, like, say a little water bottle, mm -hmm. you're like, damn, bro, like, I'm still I'm thirsty. I'm still thirsty. And, but you never... He said you never get... You never get any water or any kind of like, you know, ability to quench your thirst, you know? And then he goes in to talk about like the smell. And he said like the smell is just awful. Like I think about the times when I blow up like the toilet bro, like. <laughs> or just you farting. <laughs> Guys, this guy just farts and his like party's over. Like say there's a bunch of us <laughs> hanging out. Uh, all right, bro, I'm gonna go home. That's how bad his farts thing. That's not that bad. For people that work out, you know protein farts. That's all I gotta say. Bro, <laughs> protein farts. He said it was like rotten eggs times a thousand plus sulfur. Like he said it was just like it the smell is so bad that it literally chokes you like where you can't breathe. Fart bomb. It's a fart bomb, yeah. Constantly. And then he said there's no feeling of like rest where like zapped of all your energy. Like almost having like the flu. You know, like when you're just like fatigued you and just, just no and energy. you have no energy you feel like that constantly and then he says like all your like natural desires that you want like being hungry obviously like you said being thirsty all that kind of stuff and you have those you still have those like desires, desires. but they're not coming but true. yeah you, well, know, you can't go there you yeah. can't get up and make a fucking sandwich yeah you can't go to jack in the box down the street Talk about that's what we think no jack in the box in hell bro so you just you just starve and you thirst you know for all eternity so just i have a question so you know how, obviously God let them experience all this or whatever. People that are really in hell, right? Do they, because he doesn't explain it. Does he really, do they really go through this without bleeding and stuff? Or it was just that spe specifically him just to experience it? We should look into that. that. You know what I mean? You see, I don't. And we will never know. I, I mean, I'll never know. We'll never know. I ain't going there. So I'm going there. <laughs> <laughs> but he said the trippy part is too, like, you were famous like your life that you lived here on earth didn't matter if you were famous rich poor everyone knew your name there doesn't matter like you know no one knows you're you. nobody you're nobody well, you're just a, like you're, you said your name is basically just dark like you you don't doesn't matter doesn't matter like you don't exist you're just a non-existent person that's there kind of just take away from that guys be fucking humble because no matter what you if you're rich or whatever who knows another life what could be just just saying, bro. Be nice and be humble, cuz. This shit crazy, bro. <laughs> and so then he kind of goes into talking about, like, man, like, those pits of fire. So, like you said, like, there's millions of people in, like, this gigantic pit, pit of fire. But then he said there was smaller pits with, like, within, almost like a SpongeBob thing. So within a giant pit of fire, there was a smaller pit of fire. And then there was, like, some there's some there's some some <laughs> And then it was, like, people had, like, their own individual like pit within the gigantic pit i don't know if like that means like they were worse here on earth or like you know what i mean like they got like their own special pit well like how i said bro maybe it's uh uh whatever you however you treated people however you were however stealing shit bro. but i think of these foods like like hitler and like you know these guys that do like these run these cults and stuff and get people to kill themselves like these fools that do like extremely crazy shit. crazy stuff so imagine right how you said like there's different like okay well you did this boom yeah 100 degrees boom 200 degrees boom 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 but while he was looking at these people burn he sees a tunnel right 
the same way from a distance he's seen the pit and then he got to the pit well now he sees this tunnel level i don't know what level this is as <laughs> he doesn't know the levels either but he looks in there and once again creatures so how he said they're creatures but demons right so in yeah. this in this tunnel that he sees from a distance he starts walking towards it and it's spiders different sizes different shapes which right there and then is like hell no nope. bro like spiders you I'm see good. a little one and you're like oh shit <laughs> jumping and everything. snakes all different sizes and shapes which nope. Shapes, bro. I thought snakes was just long. No, just, like, what the hell? You got square, <laughs> square snakes in there, circle snakes in there. <laughs> Imagine, dude, like, as it is in the human life, there was anacondas, right? So we know that there's big snakes. There's big but ones, yeah. Who knows? What if they're like, in hell, they're just fucking double, triple the size. Uh, and while he was walking, he's looking, you know, walking around, not walking around, walking towards that tunnel, and the floor is nothing but maggots. Imagine, dude, like, for those that don't know, like, little eye worms with, like, a brownish tip where they eat, they like, eat dead bodies, pretty much, yeah. right? So they're just eating flesh yeah. off the... Yeah, but he said, like, when he saw, saw it close, it was, again, like how I said, there were creatures, like spiders, snakes, and everything, but more of, a like, a demonic form. So imagine a snake with, like, mini horns and, like, just weird looking Weird. creatures it wasn't like your ordinary snake that you see like at a lake or yeah. spider that you see in your house so imagine dude walking stepping on maggots and everything and i i guess see you know he's seen all that the he started thinking about his his wife his kids and just thinking like damn dude i'm never gonna see them again you know and i was thinking when i was seeing this film, i'm like so you went through all that shit and you're talking about Fuck, I'm not gonna see my family no. <laughs> We're just gonna toss by a crocodile <laughs> to the wall. Your it's bones broke. Yes. See people getting burned. You probably see famous people getting burned. I'm pretty sure he's seen somebody we know, bro. Mm. He just didn't say it. Maggots, snakes, tarantulas, or whatever he saw. But he's tripping about, fuck, my wife. <laughs> Which, I mean, I would think the same thing too, but. I mean, I get it though. Like, I remember him saying, like, it's that thought of, like, I'm like you're in this alone like and you're never gonna see your wife again you're never gonna see your family or friends again like for all eternity unless there were bad people and then the fire pit <laughs> <laughs> he what said oh shit I'm just some burning <laughs> <laughs> no but I mean I get what you're saying because and the crazy thing is before that they were chilling in the living room I think he was watching uh, uh, TV the wife was just chilling and he just went up to the room before she did and that's when fucking everything started happening so once he once he started thinking about his family missing them not being able to see them he just suddenly seen a, a bright light just like you know like when it rains sometimes and the clouds start spreading and, and the that light, light comes beams, through so like that he's seen a light just shine on him out of all darkness and fire it shined on 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 him yeah. so he said once he saw this you know bright light come down he knew immediately who it was yeah. and he knew it was jesus and he said it was almost as if he was pulled out of where he was but and he wasn't sure if he like died or like you know anything like that but he said he immediately he heard him. He heard him. yeah he immediately fell like to his knees and, and started worshiping he, he called out to jesus and then he answered i, I am, am. Um, but he still thought he he didn't know if he was lying because I mean just going through all that bro like, yeah, it's probably really everything's probably so confusing yeah too, you like, know? Shit, like where the fuck am I going now <laughs> like what now level I, is this now what level am I in bro <laughs> worshipping like he said you know I guess you can feel there's I'm pretty sure there's a different presence yeah, yeah, than, dude, of having that? Jesus there and then being in hell that shit goes from like <laughs> Super hot guys to like feeling the AC. Like you're chilling. <laughs> and then he said he, he had questions and then he said like but he didn't he didn't vocalize them. He just said them in his in his own. <laughs> and but then Jesus started answering the questions in his head too. So like how CJ say he called out for Jesus, he you know, he heard him I am. Which I wish he could explain how, how he sounds. Like like deep voice, not deep voice. You know what I mean? Because you watch cartoons and different movies and like they different voices is different, right? Yeah. But besides that, the number one question that anybody would ask once you get saved or whatever is why? Yeah. Why would you send me there, right? 
Because that would be my first question. <laughs> Bro, what would I do? <laughs> yeah. And God's answer straight up was, people don't believe that there's a hell. And that kind of scared me because I'm stuck, like I told you before, I'm stuck in between believing that there is and believing that there's not, right? So when he was saying that, I'm like, God damn, bro, like I really got to start thinking about <laughs> if I believe it or not. Like, shit, I'm going to come back like, see, that was 30 minutes in that bitch. Right. And so he asks and he answers like straight up, like people don't believe there's a hell. And I chose you to go and experience everything. Pretty, I don't think everything, yeah. but pretty much a little glimpse of what it is, three levels, but you know, you got beat up, you got everything in the freaking books. And he wanted him to come back and tell his story, tell people that there's an actual hell. Just be a good damn person if you guys don't want to end up in fire. So out of all of this, what we said pretty much is what he says, just in a long, well, this is a shorter form, right? Do you give your, what you yeah, believe? Yeah, my verdict you? is earlier was no, but just sitting here and talking to you about it and everything is like, I'm in between. Okay. Because if you guys check out his, his like interviews, he has interviews with uh, people or he's, there's one where he's just on stage just talking about his experience. every little thing, you know what I mean? But when, the one that kind of threw me off was the interview, just because the guy would ask specific questions and it would be short answers. Why, you know, like, why this? Why I'm this? asking you this to, to explain yourself, you feel yeah. me? So, is it, and it was almost as if he didn't have. Yeah, even the interviewer would look at him like, <coughs> bruh. <laughs> like, you know, like that meme was like, I know, besides this, I know there's more stories where, you know, there's there's been other people that experience it and they actually mm -hmm. get to see famous people in that cell that he said he dropped in. Like, I don't, why well, I'm just gonna drop names. That specific person, when they dropped their testimony, they said that they had seen. Uh, Michael Jackson in there that they seen uh, a Hispanic singer Jenny Rivera like a lot of famous people that you would think like damn why are they in hell even Selena bro this other lady's testimony said that right so it gets you thinking like damn like to me Selena gave back to the community did this did, did that, that and she ended up in hell bro what the fuck we gonna end up I'm going to hell <laughs> thug, what, thug what, mansion in heaven yeah. <laughs> what, what's so my my just to give an answer is uh, I'm stuck in between. Maybe yes, maybe no. Oh, that's where I'm stuck from. All right, for me, uh, I do believe him, I, and I'll say okay, I'll, and I'll give two reasons why. One, I've I've shared on on the podcast too of there's been experiences that I've had, bro. What? Where not where I, I didn't <laughs> go to hell, bro. No, did not go to hell. That's for sure. But no, the, I've had dreams. Uh, and sometimes that's where it's like funny because I don't know if it's a dream or if it's a vision like this guy because what mm -hmm. happens in my dream, like it affects me in in real life. Like where I've gotten punched in my dream, like some dude punched me out and I woke up with a black eye and a swollen eye. You see, it's funny dude, my sister said once she had an experience where she, uh, a long time ago, she had a dream that she got shot in the head and she woke up with a really, really bad headache, bro. She about like, punched her dome out? She said, Come. No, she said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she said it was a dream that she got shot in the head. Dang. Like, with a gun, bro. She woke up with the head. Like, right here, bro. And I said, fuck. The only experience Tap is... Like that. Well, I'll let you explain. But, yeah, I mean, and so... And I've had other dreams like that. Even, like, dreams that... With demons and stuff like that. That have tried to, like, pry my mouth open and get inside. Okay, like, you told me about And that. I woke up and my jaw was swollen. Bro, that's Annabelle <laughs> shit, bro. He said, open his mouth and go in there. They were trying to go inside me, bro. He said, eat my booty holes. <laughs> But, and I've had dreams like that where, like, it affects me physically, like, you know. So I, I won't dispute that, you know, he probably did go through some stuff where it was very visible and tangible for him. But what, um, like how you said earlier, it's it, it, it was either an experience or a really, really bad dream, dream. or nightmare, whatever you want to call it. But, I mean, for me, I, I guess what... what I, like I said, yes, I do believe him, but what, what, I, what I struggle with this guy's story is... Is like why him? That's what I was just gonna out ask. of everyone else. You know what I mean? And then like and he doesn't explain that. That's what no. gets me. Yes, he asked. He asked God, right? He asked, "Why did you make me go through it?" And God said, "Because a lot of people don't believe in hell." Blah blah blah. But wouldn't you ask why me? Mm -hmm. Why me? 
and why did you send me here? But he doesn't explain anything about that. So how he came out with the book and he got a deal or whatever. It's just like, what if he made all that up to get a deal, right? Yeah. Because why wouldn't you ask why me? Wouldn't that be your first asked question? First or second? Yeah. There, those two questions are on the top too. Anything else, oh well, like I don't give a fuck. But those two questions are why me and why did you? Why did that? you? Yeah. And I guess like I, I do believe he did see what he saw. I'm not going to dispute that. But to play devil's advocate though, like, and I've seen other people combat his stuff because everything that he says he saw is already in the Bible. So it's it's physically written in the Bible already. So I mean, it's kind of like, if God really wanted you to speak out, wouldn't he, why wouldn't he have showed you something that's, else? That's not it. That's either. not already in yeah, there. Like, you could just be taking this from the Bible. Maybe you just read it that night and you went to bed and you had a nightmare. Well, that's what you happened know? to me, remember? So the, we have a, a episode on the podcast, you guys should check it out, where we talk about the end of enough time, right? Uh -huh. So we got really deep, deep into that and that night, you know, because we, we recorded that episode kind of late-ish, not late-ish, like around 7-ish, 8-ish, yeah. which is still fresh on your mind. And I went to sleep, and when I woke up, I texted him right away, like, dude, I had a fucking nightmare, like, crazy shit, like, the world ending, like, that's, like, to me, that's a nightmare. So it's just like, damn, bro, like, we talked about what's already in the Bible, what's to come, and for me to just, like, go to sleep and start dreaming that shit, you know what I mean? Like, it's true, what if... He was ch reading the Bible and like went to sleep and, you know, or Tripped he just out. made up a story, you know? Yeah. There is one testimony that this little kid that actually went to heaven for eight minutes. I don't know if it's eight or 12. See, that's, to me, I would believe a little kid because a little kid is not going to lie about what he sees. And like how I told him earlier, little kids go to church and they don't pay attention, dude. They don't, they're running around, you know, like trying to do this, trying to do that. Yeah. So that I do believe, like that little kid that there's a heaven and how there's so many angels and it's legit white walking on clouds and shit like that. But with this guy, I'm telling you, dude, like there's so much. I mean, like, why would God show you something that it's already written in the Bible? Why not show you something that no one knows about? Yeah. For you to say. For you to say that way, it's kind of like, hey, this is unique, which. I mean, like I say, yeah, it, it's something that everyone's already kind of, you just quoted things everyone can read for themselves. That's already in there. Everyone knows, you know, not everyone, yeah. but people who read the Bible And I'm pretty knows. sure he just, if he did that, then he probably just put in his own edits. But <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah, I'd like to know. We would like to know in the comments below or Instagram or whatever. And if you guys want, we'll probably, we'll uh, link some links Yeah. to those videos of the interview of the and the one where he's just talking about his experiences. But uh, thank you guys for joining us and see you next time. <laughs> well, that was the story guys. Please like, share, and comment. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on all our IG, which is Tava underscore studios, CJ all day zero two, and Oscar Ivan underscore seven. It's gonna be on the links below. And if you guys have any suggestions for videos, story time, let us know. Thank you guys. Yep. Peace. Peace.